Hello everyone, I'm Anuja Bhi and I'm a legal intern with Lexus and Company and the topic for today's second video presentation is Sources of Law. There are generally three sources of law which are custom, legislation and precedent. So the custom as a source of law is considered to be one of the oldest sources of law and further custom is a rule which has obtained the force of law in a particular family on region due to long usage. This was stated or mentioned in the, the landmark case of Har Prasad versus Shiddaya. Further, it is distinct from habit or practice and it is present, presently superseded by legislation. There are various requisites of, of, for a valid custom which are reasonableness, conformity with statute of law, binding, continuity and immoral antiquity, certainty, etc. Then another source of law is legislation. It is derived from the Latin words legis and latum which ultimately means law to make or to set. As per Bentham, legislation includes both the process of law making and the law evolved. Further, Austin, who is a famous jurisprudent, says that legislation includes activi activities which result into law making or amending. Legislation and subordinate legislation in India. The supreme legislation is the union parliament, the state legislatures, the union territory and legislatures. And the subordinate legislation in this form of the rules, regulations as well as bylaws made by central and state governments. Further, the delegated legislation, also the control of delegated legislation can be as the procedural control or the parliamentary control or the judicial control. And lastly, the precedent as a source of law. And Bentham, Bentham defines precedent as judge-made law, which is ultimately uh, it is known as, uh, ultimately which is precedents are those judicial pronouncements of the court which carry with them certain authority having a binding force. Various essentials of a precedent are it must be pronounced by a sufficiently senior court. Only ratio descendendi is binding. The ratio descendendi is reason of deciding of a case which can be defined as the material facts of the case plus the decision thereof. Article 141 of the Constitution of India, whether the Supreme Court was bound by its own decision or not, which was given under the landmark case of Bengal, Bengal Immunity Limited versus State of Bihar. Further, another concept, important concept was persuasive value of high court decisions amongst one another, which was given under Vishnu, uh, Vishnu Ram versus uh, Parag, Vishnu Ram Singh versus Parag Saikya, foreign court judgment. It is persuasive value only, under which there are three legal maxims namely ratio descendendi, orbiter dicta and stare decisis. And uh, further precedent and the Supreme Court in India. The law declared by Supreme Court is binding on all the courts within the territory of India. The Supreme Court itself is not bound by its decision. The Supreme Court is not, bind the is not binded by the decisions of Federal Court or the Privy Council. Even majority decisions of the Supreme Court may be re reconsidered when a proper occasion comes before. Decisions of Supreme Court bind only the courts but not the legislature. This is a quite an important point of this concept. Further moving ahead, the relation between precedents and high courts in India. Unlike the Supreme Courts, high courts are bound by the decision of the Supreme Court. Larger bench decisions are binding in preference of the smaller bench decisions. In case of conflicting 
decision of Privy Council and Federal Court, High Courts are bound to follow the Privy Council's decisions. The doctrine of stare decisis is not well established in case of High Courts in comparison to the Supreme Court of India. And uh, another quite uh, important concept under this topic is the prospective overruling, which is a American origin concept. Uh, the important landmark case under this was uh, Golaknath versus State of Punjab, which was a case of over overruling prospectively. And uh, that that's it for the today's concept. And I hope you guys get a somewhat view of the topic. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Thank you.